Okay, YouTube. I like to shed some light on two very similar revolvers to let you know my thoughts on two guns that I just did, uh, took to the range and made a video on. I was getting ready to clean them, so I thought, let's shed some light on the two and see uh, about the differences between the two, why I like each of them, and why I like this Uberti Stallion just a little bit more. And I'll explain both great guns, so let's get into it. Let's start with the Ruger. This is a Ruger Single Six. I'll let you take a closer look. I'm sorry about the poor lighting in here. It's a rainy day, so I'm not getting much natural light. Alright. Try and give you a close view of the gun. This is a six and a half inch barrel, new model single six. Anyone familiar with the Rugers, these single sixes and new models will know they are not like a Colt, the original Colts, that you don't work the hammer. You just throw open that loading gate with your thumb, finger, whatever. That's how you operate the cylinder. Okay, this is how you would load in the rounds. That differs from the Uberti. And also, between the Uberti and this one, this has target style sights. Which has its pros and cons. Me personally, on a revolver that's just for fun at the range, uh, I, I like having the regular cowboy sights. So I'll show you the Uberti. This is the Stallion 22 long rifle. Both these are slightly scaled down versions of a full size. And. I'll give you a close-up of the Uberti, and maybe you guys watching can make some comparisons on your own here. I haven't cleaned these yet since I've been to the range, so you will see some fingerprints and some dirt from shooting. But if you've noticed, this Uberti is a little different. That single six was blued. This is a steeled Uberti with a uh, bluing, case hardened frame, brass, and the one piece wood grips. This differs in that it has cowboy style sights, which I uh, I prefer when I'm at the range. I, I can, every time I'm at the range, consistently shoot this gun better. If I loop, open the loading gate, this will not spin like the Ruger. There's also no transfer bar like the Ruger had, so to safely carry, you have to go two clicks to load, open the gate, and then it'll freely spin. You should only carry five when carrying this style revolver without that loading gate. Uh, here are the clicks that the Ruger does not have. So I'll get into the comparisons between the two. I'll let them sit here side by side, see if you can notice anything between the two. As far as fit and finish, the Uberti has a much better fit and finish feel to it than the Ruger. These both cost about the same, same price range. And for that price range, uh, the Ruger's the grip fit between the wood and the metal. Uh, it's overall with the frame. Is not in the same. And anywhere you see is, is just from me. Holster wear over time stuff. It is not the same as this uh, Uberti. The fit and finish on this is superior. And as soon as I, I picked it up at the gun shop. I noticed instantly being I had this one before. That there's noticeable difference in fit and finish, and the Uberti being nicer. The other thing is, if you look at the triggers, people can prefer different things. The Ruger's trigger is a very wide blade. You'll notice on the Uberti, and everyone has their own preferences, I'm not saying one's better than the other, I just personally prefer this. Very thin blade. Uh, it's got a great feel on, on when I pull the trigger. It's one difference in how I why I prefer the birdies. And just the difference between the two, if you're looking at them, uh, you'll notice that. 
the other is in the grips. I'll try and line these up. The Uberti's grips are actually slightly longer. There you can see them. And what this means for me, having size large glove type hands, the Ruger, my pinky always feels like it's on that verge of wanting to fall over the edge. And I get this feeling on their Blackhawks too. I just wish that grip was a hair bigger on the Rugers. And that's another reason why if you have larger hands, I prefer the Uberti. See how I actually have room there? It feels very natural in my hand. If I was to grab a gun and they say the pointability of the six shooter, this Uberti defines that in my hands. The Ruger feels bulkier. And everyone will, will feel differently, just depending on the size of your hands. I prefer the Uberti grip over the Ruger. It's so much better feeling in my hands, even though that difference is very slight. The one thing that I will give the Ruger over the Uberti is the construction feels more robust. I feel like this gun I will have and can shoot it every day and not worry about it. The Uberti has given me no quality problems. However, it feels a little more refined and finer parts as if possibly over time you might have to replace something. That's just me thinking. I've never had to replace a thing on it. One example of this that I can give you is the loading gate. I mean the ejector rod. The Uberti's ejector rod, you see there is this very thin piece of metal and it works fine, very smooth. But it's an example, look at this, compared to the Ruger's. And it's just, I mean look at that sucker. That's, that basically defines the difference between the two. Everything on the Ruger is very rugged. But you also get a little blockier feel to the gun. Also, since we're talking about the differences here with the ejector rods, another reason I like the Uberti better, listen for the click of the Ruger, and my ejector rod is hitting the cylinder. I have to keep rotating, and there it shows up. See that? Click, it hits. Rotate a little more, there it goes. With the Uberti, if I open it up, you hear a click, ejector comes through, click, ejector comes through. Okay, so it makes unloading smoother and faster with the Uberti. But again, doesn't have that solid feel because you got that very thin ejector uh, rod and the button you, you, you press, sorry, I don't know technical terms here, feels very solid on the Ruger compared to the Uberti, which uh, if you see, it's just a very thin piece of metal connecting that button to the rod We're on the Ruger's. Uh, it looks like it'll never break. So, I hope you enjoyed my review of shooting them. I wanted to give just a quick review between the two. I like both guns a lot. I would definitely say to hold them if you have the chance. The Ruger seem more plentiful in a gun shop if you, to hold. If you want to get a feel of the gun before buying them. Uberti's I don't see as often. Got lucky and found this as a dealer demo. That's why you see some scratches on the cylinder and stuff. It was used at shows and got roughed up a bit. But you will notice the trigger on the Uberti, I won't dry fire him, is very light in comparison to the Ruger. So if that means something to you, heavy trigger pull, very light trigger pull. It makes this gun much more shootable. You can get fixes for the Ruger, different spring kits, different tricks to lighten it. So it is fixable, but that's definitely a difference. So I hope you liked the review. 
If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. Both great guns. I shoot this one better. This one feels better in my hands. Fit and finish is better. This one feels more rugged. So, all personal choices. Hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks.